and welcome to Cozy Boo. Today we are going to be looking at the Neopets Pocket um, Meridale version. So this is what the outside looks like and you get some little characters in here that you can adopt and this is them here also and the back of it looks just like this. So, this is basically um, a V-Pet, kind of like a Tamagotchi, and also kind of like a Polly Pocket. So we open it here, and there we are. So if I bring you out just a little bit, we can show the full size of it. So there's nothing down here that um, does any sort of like, um, doings to this part so this is just a little kind of like a play area like a poly pocket would be and we have these five areas here that you can place your adopted character down to play games and to also shop and then up here is another little area where your character can play so going on to the characters we have this character which is called Ixi. They are super cute and how they work is they have a little prong on the bottom of each of them and corresponding to where the prong sits on the device is how it will recognize what character you are adopting and raising at that time. So it doesn't use any um, NFC chips or anything like that. It's just those little plastic prongs we have a Drake and he is super cute. I really do like him. And lastly, we have, I don't really know how to pronounce this one's name. Um, I have always called it Loop when I was little, um, but it could be Lupe. Or, <laughs> but ever since I was younger and playing on uh, the Neopet website, um, I always called him Loop um, and again, he has a different prong so that the device knows who's who. So at the moment, I'm playing with Ixi. As you can see, she was prancing around on the screen there. So let's get in and have a look at what this device can do. So there she is prancing around. And if we go sideways, there's the bed setting. So you can get your character to go to bed. So if you press enter, it will say, Bambi is not tired. Do you want to do something else? So right now, I'm just gonna show you through all the settings. So there's the bed. We have the character itself. So I named him Bambi. So there you go, Bambi, age 18 hours old, male gender, likes to play so you can um, choose when you set up your character you can decide what their likes are uh, greeting is friendly again you can change that so you could make them cautious um, or lots of things like that strength is 90 defense 59 and movement is 70 um, obviously those will change uh, as you go on height is 9 weight 22 so we come out of this next one over is a book so on this one you can see your character's health um, so right now the health is on 292 and then happiness is on quite a bit that's actually the highest happiness I've had so far so that's great and intelligence is that so Obviously, these will raise and go up and down. Your happiness depends on um, you feeding um, your Neopet and playing with your Neopet, obviously, and also telling it when to go to sleep and waking it up also. We'll get on to the sleep a little bit more in depth uh, because there's a little bit more to it than what I've told so far. So if we press uh, the cancel button, we can go back. And so we've done the book. So now moving on is trophies. So 
You get trophies from playing games. So there's the ultimate bullseye game and I don't have any trophies so far. And you can see your, um, your high score and that's my high score so far on that. Um, and yeah, no trophies. And I'm currently on level one because as you saw, um, my Neopet is only 18 hours old. So I haven't been playing um, that long on this one. So, and then again, it goes through all the games, which I'll show you more of in a minute. So that's trophies. We have food. So this is how you can feed your pet. I have no food at the moment, so I have to go to the store and buy some of that. Uh, this is my inventory. So my items, and I have a toy sword at the moment. I need to buy some more stuff. And then we have the medical box. Um, as you saw, you can see your Neopet's health. Uh, if they're poorly or if they're not feeling too great, you can give them medicine to make them feel better and then the dice game. So we go on here and then again, this is Ultimate Bullseye. This is Kiss the Mortog. And Turtle Racing. Yeasty Bread. Yeasty Bread Toss. And uh, the Neg Drop. Oh, and Termac. And then Ultimate Bullseye again. So let's start at the top, which is the ultimate bullseye. So on this game, we are going to, uh, I can do level easy or medium. We will try the medium one. So you control this arrow here with the up and down. So you can go down to move the arrow or up to move it up. So because the bullseye is quite low, we're gonna sit about there. And then this top bar is determined with the enter button. So we'll press the enter button to get it to start moving. And then when you're happy, you would press it. I totally missed it there. So we'll try again. And probably about here. Okay, there we go. And try this one. That was too high. I'm normally quite good at this game, I, I swear. <laughs> it's just because I'm filming. I'm, at a weird angle and I'm kind of actually looking um, through my camera um, to actually play this. Okay. So that's basically the idea of this game. And by the end of it, you will, so if I just get bad scores, just to show you, I'll just shoot it up into the air, just to show you uh, what happens after the game. And the last one. Let's try and make this one. Or not. <laughs> so I scored 80. And we don't want to play again. So you'll get money from playing the game. So Kiss the Mortog is a game of chance. So this one, there is no um, uh, skill. It's not skill based. So you got to choose from the first frog or the second frog to kiss. If you choose the princess frog, you win. If you choose the wrong frog, then he will go into a big splat. So I'm gonna go for number two. Okay, so that one was good. That was the princess, so I got 10 Neo points. Do we wanna bet on three? Let's try it. So this time, I think, so one frog, second frog, or the third frog. I'm gonna go, I have a feeling for the number one. We got the princess again, so we're on 30 Neo points. Do you want to bet on four? This is where it gets a bit risky. So there's one, two, three, or four. Let's go for three this time. No, so we lost at that point. So it is just pure like luck. There's no skill to this game at all. So we don't want to play that again. So then we have turtle racing. So we got to bet on these little turtles um, and they're down here. So if you was to place my Neo Pet down here on this section, it will load up the turtle racing. So do you want to bet on a race? Yes. We'll do 10 Neo points. And then at this point we choose which turtle we're gonna go for. So number one, scroll down to two, scroll down to three, scroll down to four, and then 
I'm going to choose two and we select that with enter and now we just watch the race go on and hope that our number two wins it's dropping back a little bit oh I think we might have this one. Oh, maybe not no he's well ahead number one turtle won that one so I didn't win on that one sorry you lose that's fine <laughs> So we've done that one and now we have yeasty bread drop or yeasty bread toss. So on this one we are going to, I don't fully understand this one, I just know that you need to avoid the bombs. So like that, we don't want to jump for a bomb. So we use the side ones and the top one to, oh, see I keep on getting these bombs, I'm not very good at this one. So you've got to keep on catching all these items and we caught another bomb. I definitely need to practice on that one, but I got 17 Neo points. Do you want to collect your Neo points? Yes. And it goes into the bank, which I'll show you as well. Play again? No. And now we have Neg Drop. So on this one, we want to collect the white water balloons in our basket. Let's go. So just the clear ones. And you just scroll side to side. You don't have to press any other button. It's just side to side on this one. And just catch as many as we can. It's kind of like a, um, a fruit fall on um, Tamagotchi. But with these little baggies of whatever's inside them. Maybe Neo points. <laughs> so we just keep on going until I think it's on a timer. I'm not sure because um, I've played before and um, I have avoided all of the um, the dark bags and I've still lost. So I think there does come to a point where you uh, the time runs out, but I don't see a time anywhere. I just see the score going up from the bags that I'm catching. See, there you go. Collect your Neo points. Yes, and that's going straight to the bank. Play again? No. Um, so now we are at the last one, which is Termac. So this one's quite fun. Um, it's kind of like a, a side scrolly sort of like Mario where you run along and hop over things. So we just use the up and jump over all of these holes and you can speed up by pressing the sideways one and just jumping over all of these things and there's coins that you can collect. Oh no! <laughs> so I got 21 Neo points. We'll collect those, we'll move on. That's the idea of the game anyway. So, we don't want to play again. We press cancel, that was all the games. And again, you know, the highest score you get, then you progress on and you can get trophies. So this here is the shop. So, what do you want to buy? And there's food, toys and pet pets. So I should really buy some food because my Neo pet will probably want some food soon. So right now I've got gruel, corn on the cob, probably, yeah, corn on the cob, and roast pork. So corn on the cob is that much. So yes, we'll get some corn on the cob. There it is. And then it tells you how much it's cost, how much money you've got left. So the food has been placed in your bag. Okay. Fantastic. No, no. Okay, so now, next one over is the bank. So this is the bank, you click on that, and that says how much Neo points I have so far. So that's great. And then the bed again. So, also, uh, another thing that I want to talk to you about is, um, you can turn this device off. So, we close it up. And turn it over there is this here when you click this down 
and then open it back up again. As you can see, the device is fully off. This totally pauses your game, so um, your Neopet won't get any more hungry or um, angry or sad or uh, it won't run away because the whole game is paused. So with that in mind, just remember that you, will, you won't be progressing. Your Neopet will stop aging as well. So um, you will need to, when you turn it back on, you will have to reset the time for what it was at or what it is at now sorry so we close that we also have this one that says battery door you push that down and then that will you know help you open up the battery door which is this and then click it back on that's the reset button obviously and our neopet is happy doing its own little thing so at night time, um, you will need to put your Neopet to bed. It will help with its um, progress and happiness and all that business. It's saying Bambi's not tired still because it's not bedtime. It doesn't want to go to bed. Um, but if you um, ignore your Neopet for too long, your Neopet will run away um, and you will not be able to get it back. So. With that in mind, you know, make sure you look after your Neopet. Um, my Neopet set, are, they're all different. There's lots of different ones that you can get. Um, this device, I have to feed my Neopet three times a day, once in the morning, afternoon, and in the evening, obviously, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that will keep her happy. I still, every now and again, give her a little snack here and there just to, you know, make sure she's fine. Um, and let's just go on to my inventory and um, let's play with the toy sword. So you click on the toy sword. Do you want to play? And we will go yes. And I've played with this sword three times so it's probably going to break at this point or she will lose it. So she's playing around. Bambi has lost its toy sword. <laughs> So yeah, um, I will also quickly show you, um, so that's fine, um, there we go, <laughs> it really wanted to tell me that, <laughs> I couldn't exit out of that, um, I'll just show you the prices of what things are quickly, so we're looking at toys now, so we've got a ball, that is 300 Neo points, We've got a Valentine's Quiggle plush, plushie. Valentine's Quiggle plushie, that's cute. It's 1,350. So you can see that you do have to work quite hard to be able to purchase your Neopet food and toys and this, that and the other. Um, obviously, you know, there's a, there's a whole roast this time. So they do change. There's a cup of water. I brought corn on the cob a minute ago, but it's now not here. We've got sludge pie. Uh, it sounds gross, but the Neopets actually like it. So we've got roast chicken, and that is 1,610 Neo points. So yeah, you definitely do have to work hard um, and earn that money to be able to keep your Neopet happy. And there are pet pets. And there we go. Got a Simol, Turtum, a Mortog, just like the Mortog game, a uh, Termac, just like the Termac game as well. And so, yeah, you can buy those, but they are quite expensive. But I haven't got one yet, I haven't brought one. Um, so, yeah, that is pretty much the Neo Pets, and it is super fun, super cute, and I do love it. There's so much to do in here and uh, you can swap out so you can, as you know, I've adopted Ixi. Um, I can place her back in there and I can adopt whoever I want next. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. 
let me know if you used to play Neopets back in the day on the website and if you still do play on the website that would be great uh, to know and yeah I'll see you on the next video thanks bye